Thomas and the Important Visitor, written by Christopher Audrey. It was winter. Every dark clouds filled the sky. That night snow fell, and deep drifts piled up in the surrounding countryside. Next morning, Birdie the bus set out early from Farquhar, but it wasn't long before he came back. We can't get over the hill, he told Thomas. There are drifts higher than my roof. We were lucky to be able to turn round. You'll need to go steady at the tunnel, Thomas. I expect the snow's thick there too. Just then, a taxi drove into a station yard. An important-looking man got out and was taken to see the station master. Then Percy came and told them that the cutting before the tunnel was almost filled with snow. Thomas and his driver and fireman set out with a snowplow, but the snow was so thick that snowplows bent and began to damage the rails. "But torn it," said Thomas's driver. "We'll never get through now." They took the snowplow off, left it beside the line, and went back to the station. The station master came up with the important-looking man. This gentleman has to see Mister Kindly," he said. "It is a very important matter, and he must see him today at all costs." The driver scratched his head. "Well, I'm blown if I know how," he said. "We can't get through a blocked cutting without the snowplough." "A bulldozer might be handy," suggested the fireman. "What about Terence?" asked Thomas. "Hasn't he got a bulldozer thing that his driver fits him in front sometimes?" Well done, Thomas! Exclaimed his driver. I'll telephone his owner straight away. By the time Toby has taken some workmen to the cutting, Terence was already at work. He and the men soon had the line cleared, and Toby went back to tell Thomas. Mister Kindly's visitor got into Annie the coach, and Thomas set off. Deep cliffs of snow stood on either side of the line that Terence had cleared, and Thomas puffed triumphantly through, and stopped outside the cottage. The guard helped the important-looking man from Annie, and both Mister Conley and his visitor came to thank Thomas. The guard went with them to make sure they did not slip on the path up to the cottage, and then Thomas, cold but pleased, left for the junction. The fat controller was pleased too. I said it before, and I'll say it again," he told them. "There can be no doubt that Thomas is a really useful engine." The end. <laughs>